Have you ever wondered how long can I survive on other planets in our solar system without any protection? Well, most of us have, right? Today in this video, I am going to take all of you into a journey to our solar system. How long can we survive on each planet? We will start from Mercury and our destination will be Neptune. So let's start our journey. First, we will go to Mercury. Mercury is the smallest and innermost planet in the solar system. The site that faces the sun is extremely hot, about 427 degrees Celsius at its hottest. On the other hand, the opposite side is freezing, minus 179 degrees Celsius at its coldest. If you calculate everything right and land on the sweet spot where the temperature is just right, you can survive as long as you can hold your breath or estimated time of 2 minutes. If Mercury has the smallest rotation period among all other planets in our solar system, then the planet next to him Venus has the longest rotation period of all other planets in our solar system. The Venus's surface temperatures are at least 462 degrees Celsius, which makes Venus's surface hotter than Mercury's. If you land on either side of this hot planet, well, be ready to live there only one second. From Venus, let's go to our home, Earth. Earth is special because it is an ocean planet. 70% of the Earth is covered by oceans owing to the wonderful oxygen in our atmosphere, food, water and everything like this that makes our planet habitable. We may live here an average of 70 to 80 years. We will now take off from Earth and go to our neighbor, the red planet Mars. Among other planets in our solar system, the seasons of Mars are the most Earth-like due to the similar tilts of these two planets. The hottest temperature on Mars can reach up to 35 degrees Celsius and the coldest Martian surface temperatures are minus 143 degrees Celsius. Since it has a thin atmosphere, you will not feel that cold. Just pack a few warm cloths with you and you can survive there as long as you can hold your breath. Next is Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system and is commonly known to us as a gas giant. There isn't any land to land on this planet, no pun intended, but when you would enter the atmosphere of this planet, you will descend forever into the gaseous atmosphere until you are crushed by the pressure of the planet's layers. Not fun, right? If that is not fun, when you will visit the next big planet of our solar system, Saturn, the experience will be more or less the same. Not even the ring of Saturn will give you a surface to land on. Ok, enough of gases. Let's travel to our favorite ice giants, Uranus and Neptune. Uranus's atmosphere is similar to Jupiter's and Saturn's in its primary composition of hydrogen and helium, but it also contains more ices such as water, ammonia and methane, along with traces of other hydrocarbons. You will fall straight into its atmosphere without any land and will die within a second. And the same goes for another ice giant, Neptune. There is no land there either and you will die within a second of entering its atmosphere. In the end, life on Earth is really lovely in comparison with any other neighboring planet. Nature is certainly awesome. We should protect our beautiful planet and try to stop wasting its limited resources. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe and click here to check out my other videos. Thank you.